Hi everyone, we're going to meet the green frog today. And in this hand I have a girl. And in this hand I have a guy. Now putting them together, you can see the size of their eye. And then behind their eye is this round bit right there called the tympanic membrane. Tympanic, like timpani drum, right? So that's their, kind of like their ear. And I'm going to have the female with the little ear go back into a carry case and back inside. And I'm going to use the bigger male to talk to you. Now, in general, females are bigger than males, but this one is much younger than, than this one is. All right, so we're going to put that one in there. Make sure she doesn't get away. All right, so green frogs, um, that, that's one noise they can make. They sort of sound like a banjo string plucked when they're in the water and making their noises to be heard. Some cool things about them, right? So you can see how shimmery they are. They have more than one eyelid. So I'm not sure if he's going to blink or not, but um, one is a little more solid. The other one, opeg. Think of opeg like a pair of stockings, um, more on the white side than, you know, sheer stockings. And that's sort of what that, that eyelid that goes up looks like. Now, bullfrogs are different, right? They're not as smooth on the top. Now, this one is a green frog, right? This one has ridges down its back. I'm holding his legs, and you can see these really big uh, feet of his, um, those big paddled feet for swimming really fast. The toes, one, two, three, four, five, like a human, right? But the hands are different, right? There's only four on the hands. There's, um, oh, there we go. One, two, three, four. So similar digits, but only four and not five, right? So you can see him breathing, but there are two nostrils on the very top, right? Frogs don't have teeth that you would imagine. They're kind of part of their um, skull structure. They're just little teeny things. However, they do have sort of like cartilage, but very, very sharp on the roof of their mouth. So what that does is when they swallow something whole, as it wiggles, it kind of gets broken up a little bit um, to go into the belly. So green frogs, very, very common. They can be tadpoles for as much as two years if they're in a pond or a lake, um, which is different than some frogs. Some frogs will be a tadpole and then get their legs in the same year. And a, a, a wood frog is a very good example of that, um, a quickly evolving uh, metamorphosis. <laughs> so green frogs can be found on the edges of ponds, on the edges of lakes, they can be along streams and they eat anything they can stick in their mouth that moves. So they'll grab insects. Their tongue doesn't necessarily go out, which a lot of people think that that's the case with this kind of frog. Mostly they just shove it in. There are frogs like our pickerel frog um, that will definitely stick their tongue out to get their meal. All right, well, I hope you've learned a little bit of something about our green frog friend.